What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here, welcoming you to part one of a brand new modded Total Warhammer 2 Let's Play, a newly updated SFO Grimhammer 2 Wildwood update, and the denizens of said Wildwood, the Wood Elves, and the Forest Spirits. As for the Legendary Lord, as you probably guessed it from this screen, ancient beyond reckoning, angrier than Korn himself, the Exterminatus Tree, Durthu. And I suppose the rest of the Argolon faction is here as well. Well, not that Durthu really needs the help, however. Durthu was of course chosen by Pol, handily sticking it to Orion, and I do hope to be using that feature throughout the future campaigns, especially when there are actual choices between legendary lords. Now, those of you who have watched my other Total Warhammer Let's Plays may be a little bit surprised that I'm doing a Wood Elves campaign at all, as I just plain hate the little bastards, and I've been pretty vocal on the subject. I find both playing as them and against them kind of annoying, and I always either try to avoid AI Wood Elves, or spitefully burn Athaloran to the ground, hopefully with plenty of artillery. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. The fact that they're knife ears really doesn't help matters either. But, that should just show you how much I trust Venris and the SFO Grimhammer team. I used to find playing as the Beastman an absolute chore, but I had a blast running Kazrak One-Eye in the recent Bloodgrounds update. So with that in mind, I'm sure that the new Wildwood update will breathe new life into the... Uh, Wood Elves factions. There's tons of new techs, new units, reworks, events, probably a bunch of other stuff I'm forgetting. Lots of goodies to enjoy. That's what I like to see, and I personally think Vanilla is just plain inferior to SFO, so I always, as always, a huge shout out to Venris and the SFO team for bringing us the definitive Total Warhammer experience. You guys always leave me wanting more. Just before we get started with nature reclaiming the land, by force. A few housekeeping notes, since I literally just do what the mouth of the great YouTube algorithm tells me, YouTube analytics, the let's plays I devote more time to are entirely dependent on your interest, as determined by, you guessed it, your likes and comments. I hate begging for them, you hate to hear me beg for them, but you know. Gotta do what you gotta do once again. As always, I gotta say that I gotta, don't gotta be nothing fancy, but if you want to throw me a like, drop me a comment, I'll consider it a vote in Durthu's favor, a vote in the favor of Warhammer and Total Warhammer uh, content in general, and of course, if nothing else, it would really help me out a lot. Likes and comments are of course the only way for content to be seen and a channel to grow. Finally, just a quick shout out to my regular commenters, I always appreciate all the suggestions, all the tips and jokes, conversations, what have you, that's what make Let's Plays in general worth doing at all, and why I always make time to reply and incorporate as much as I can. Anyway, once again this intro's already run on far too long, so let us sow the seeds of destruction. Very hard, very hard, all glory to the algorithm. And let's just quickly check out what we have here. Foreign territory, I believe this is an SFO change. Alright, so it's bad for us when we're in foreign territory. Got it, got it, unfortunate. Um, four seasons, diplomatic relations with the dwarves, yeah. Yeah, Durthu doesn't like the dwarves after what happened to him. Uh, let's see. During forest battles, I guess that's a nice one for defending, but I hate I freaking hate forest battles. And uh, let's see, yeah, obviously, Durthu's Wargrove, unique unit, nice. Yeah, and yeah, as I was saying, obviously, Elven units, not as easy to get as the uh, Forest Spirit units for Durthu. Public order to all provinces is very nice. Same with the attrition in Durthu's army. And upkeep with Forest Spirits is pretty obvious. Let's go. In times past, Durthu bound the forest spirits of Athalorn with those of the Wood Elves. For a while, he considered the Alliance to be a positive force, but that was before great swaths of forest were cut down, before the Elves invited Calamity to befall Athalorn. Now Durthu's wrath is great. The Azrai are only spared its lashing tendrils for reasons of expediency in defeating the threat now facing the forest. It's a neat looking tree man right there. Hail to you, Durthu, eldest of the ancients. I come to offer assistance in these dark times, to help you exact revenge on the enemies of Athaloran. To the north, the Bretonians lie in wit. We must tread carefully, for their expansionist desires are well known, yet they could be firm allies against other foes. Furthermore, greenskin incursions are increasing, defiling the sanctity of the forests with their filth. 
The only answer is war. Move against their mountain hovels and end their sorry sorties into your lands. To the west, the beastmen herds are massing. These cloven beasts will desecrate everything, including your sacred woodlands, unless stopped by force of arms. You must turn the tables, take the hunt to them. The taint of chaos must not despoil the King's Glade. Though the men of the Lowlands know the price of intrusion, they still trespass upon your hallowed groves. No more. Drive them from the forest's edge. Age has made you twisted and furious, father of the forest, but this rage makes you mighty. Go now. Smite the unworthy. Defend Athel Loran. Okay, for a second I thought it froze there. Damn, was that a full freaking beastman army with a uh, with a doom bull at the lead? That looks pretty scary. I wonder what's in the actual army. All right, wood elves gain amber. Oak of Ages exists. Uh, wood elves must rejuvenate it. Do we own Oak of Ages as Durthu? Yes, we do. Get start with twenty. Damn, that's some expensive stuff. Eighty thousand for the final point. Nice, very nice. What does this do? Treekin, discoverability of Skaven Undercities, pretty nice. <laughs> An Undercity under this. Ooh, we can pick one of these things here. Uh, construction for hall buildings, minus 10%. Why would we not do that? Own armies faction-wide. Oh, nice. Huh, I wonder. How much of this is faction-wide and how much of this is... Uh... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright, Gathering of the Ancients, a variety of benefits may be gained by appointing tree men lords to the Gathering of the Ancients. Aha. Uh -huh. Geomantic web lizard men, what? Eh? Ensure that the following building has been constructed to Oak of Ages. Thank you. Alright, alright. There's probably gonna be some learning curve. What does this do? Huh? Strength of your link. World roots. So I take it that this has uh, somehow been incorporated. I guess we probably have some sort of... Ooh, hello, shrines and stuff. Oh, God. I'm remembering that there are a lot of freaking buildings in the uh, Wood Elf. Damn, all right. Ooh, easy grapevines. Always get grapevines. I remember that. Uh, ooh, hello. What the hell is this? Oh, Durthu's Wargrove. Legendary unit. Cannot wait to try you out. You're only tier 4, although you are going to cost quite a bit of cash. Uh, we should probably get this Glade Guard going. We will need range units ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> I'll show myself out. Uh, Grove Guardians and Treekin. Different kinds of treemen. Neat, neat. Alright, well, we'll get this, I think. Even though it would probably be good to get some more growth. But we will go to level 2 fairly soon, even though we will need... Oh, we do have the amber for it already. Ooh, and we need waste, waste stones as well. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to learn in there. This provides amber. Oh, damn, it increases construction cost. Oh, and helps with construction cost of the uh, oak. That's nice. That's nice, but I think we'll need archers. Yeah, we'll definitely need archers. All right, well... I think the obvious thing to do is get some... Hmm. I guess we'll get some more of these Dryads. I'm just trying to figure out who do we attack immediately. Who are we at war with? We're immediately at war with Karak Norn, but it is kind of hard to attack the uh, these guys immediately. We do have a Branch Wraith. What kind of Branch Wraith are you? Oh, you're Shadows. You are Shadow. Wait, no, you have Earthblood. Huh. Wait, do Branch Wraiths... Whoa, 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 whoa. Recruit Hero... Oh, damn. I just wanted to see what kind of stuff Branch Wraiths can do, whether there were different types or only one type. Huh. Oh, well. Yeah, you go here. You go here. There we go. Because I feel like we should get a Branch Wraith that does maximum amount of uh, wood-type stuff. Earthblood and Awakening of the Wood. Shield of Thorns. Huh, but see, they have Earthblood... But where is the other stuff? Where is the, uh, the bigger heal? I forgot what it's called. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. These trees look really different, too, so we're gonna definitely gonna be a learning curve. And Durfu, 
I would like to jump up here. If this guy jumps away, we could probably easily take this or ambush him. In the meantime, go into the Waterfall Palace and get to constructing branch raids. These guys probably have no armor piercing, I'm guessing. Yeah, very, very little. What about you guys? Uh, Way Watchers do have armor piercing, but Glade Guard probably do not. Yeah, basically not. We're going to have a pretty tough time fighting those dwarves. Alright, well, let's build up our army. And, ooh, check out our new tree. So we got this here, we got another thing here, and another thing with waystones here. Interesting. Buff for war dancers. What the hell is that? Required technologies, basically everything else. Neat. I assume that some of this will buff up our forest spirit. Aha, 20% physical resistance for treemen. That's nice. That's very nice. Enable ability, magic bond, increase winds of magic and their regeneration to treekin. Alright, I like the sound of all of that. Stock for eagles, deepwood, scouts, eternal guard. Enable ability, Noxious Cloud for dr Forest Dragons, okay. What does this do? Wide Reaching Roots, Wind of Magic Cost minus 10 for Lure of Life. Cool, cool. What does this do? Leadership for Forest Battles. I guess we'll start with this. Melee Defense for Forest Spirit Units, there we go. We should rush straight towards this because we're going to be using a lot of those. Hmm, alright. And I believe there's not really much else to do here. We could go for a research rate, but that's not a big deal here. Uh, construction cost for... Oh, we could wait on these and save some cash. 20% cash is pretty darn nice. Kind of tempting to do that. Now let's do that. This cost 2,500, didn't it? So, what did this cost? This only cost 1,000. You know what, let's build this right away. We'll wait for this while we build more of those branch rates. We'll have our... Yeah, we'll have this thing coming in next turn, and the Oak of Ages we will do. Experience unit per faction-wide. I believe that's good, as it... I can't tell if everything done here... Vigor loss reduction, weapon strength, is that to everybody? Is it not? I, <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, you know what? We can probably test this. Uh, let's go with... Let's see, if we do this, weapon strength plus 5%. So currently, branch rates are at weapon strength 35. Next turn. If it goes up. Then it applies to everybody. If it doesn't, then the tree really isn't all that special, is it? And, ooh, hello. A spirit as old as Athel Lauren itself, Durthu has experienced grief and loss on a scale that even the long-lived elves cannot comprehend. His compassionate heart has been blackened by rage, and hate clouds his mind, ancient mind. Yet the power of Athel Lauren is his to command, and the capacity to heal his tortured soul is well within his ability, should he choose to walk that path. Healing, Waystones plus 300. Weapon strength minus 50 for Dur- Okay, that's a no. So it makes him tankier, but weaker, basically. I feel like no. I wonder if this will come back. Balance does nothing. Madness. Vigor loss reduction plus 10 for elven units and characters. Melee attack plus 25 for Durthu's Wargrove. No upkeep for- Ooh, that's nice, but we don't have Durthu's Wargrove. Vengeance. Income from raising settlements. Chaos corruption. Minus 25 with all factions diplomatic. That's probably not good early off. You know what? Probably neither one of these. I think... I really hope that this comes back, like... It's not just once that we get to do this, right? Growth. I really don't want to cripple Durtho's weapon strength. You know what, let's do nothing for now. I feel like this does nothing because we don't have Durtho's war grow. This cripples Durtho. And this has everybody declare war on us really early. So let's balance for now. And yeah, I'm just going to assume that that comes back eventually. Alright, so that turn ended. Let's just see if these guys... Their weapon strength is now at... 39. Before it was at... 35. So this does affect everybody. Nate. We'll keep that up then. We will keep that up. Now we can also do armor plus 3 for all units. 
You guys don't have a lot of armor, but plus three is fairly little. The beastmen will sense this change. Wow, those are that's those are that's some angry uh, all caps writing. Okay, well, there's nothing really to do except to recruit. Keep recruiting. And, yeah, keep getting those brand- Damn, it takes a while to get these guys. Oh, alright. Man, it is rare to see a first turn like this, or first few turns, just with nothing happening. Oh, I do wonder. Is there a settlement here belonging to these dwarves, and can we also attack it? I mean, since we're at war with dwarves, we might as well attack dwarves. Uh, what is this? Oh, right, SFO, Grimhammer, two caps. I think we go with only faction caps, or wait. I feel like, yeah, faction-wide caps, because I would like to have armies that are uh, pretty different from each other. Uh, you. Grimhold does belong to Karak Nord, so we could jump up here. We could jump up here, and we will as soon as we build up some units. Uh, let us get a few more of the... You know what? No, let's get some of these guys. Uh, we could get some poison, hagbane tips. Oh, you guys have armor pierce? How much armor pierce? Almost entirely armor piercing on the starfire shafts. Okay, we need three of you. We have no armor piercing, basically. You guys are going to be needed to destroy the dwarves. Damn, we're just going to be sitting here for several turns, aren't we? Ooh, hey, orcs, you attack this, please, and then we'll uh, we'll kill whoever loses. All right, beastmen have grown. Choosing yes will enable beastmen invasions in the mid to late game. I feel like that is yes. I want this to happen mostly because we are playing as the wood elves, and it feels right to fight more beastmen. And you, yeah, just sit there for another turn. My God, at least we're making cash, but damn. Let's see what these orcs do. Are they going to attack? That's interesting. Oh, they won. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if these guys lost anything. Uh, you have forsaken me, blah blah blah, non-aggression pact. With who? Findal? Sure, I guess we'll confederate you guys eventually. Oh my god, what is this? We've heard the rumors that Kislev, the Emperor, and the Elector Council made a secret arrangement not to attack each other. Are these rumors true? Sure. United they stand. That makes sense to me. They'll all stand united and we may or may not kill them. And these guys barely lost any units. They did take a little bit of damage. I wonder how much damage these guys took. They don't seem to be healing all that much. This might be a good time to attack. Can we take this? I feel we we can't. I feel we can't do enough armor pierce to actually kill this many dwarf units, even if we break through, and they just have way too much range. We're gonna have to do it the uh, via ambush or something. They probably can't take the waterfall palace either, that's the thing. You are gonna get upgraded. We're gonna get one more set of units. I think we'll go, let's say, two more glade guards. You know what, let's go a couple glade guard with hagbanes, like that. And one more of these. And you guys can just lead them, I guess, way watchers. What is this? Gift of the Forest. Hawkish Finesse. Enemy Presence in Ability Range. Ability Range 70 meters plus 40% reload skill. Ability Range 70 meters plus 25. Oh, neat. Okay, makes sense to me. Do you guys have this also, or is it just those guys? No, it's just those guys. Okay, so that's what makes them special. What makes you guys special? Nothing. Nothing. We, re we really need some tree men. Alright, that's fine. Keep recruiting. Keep recruiting until you can fight the dwarves. I would really like the dwarves to go after these guys and leave their territory alone. You want a non-aggression pact. You want to give us money for it. Okay, Orion. Do you think we're going to attack you? Is that what you think, Orion? Maybe we should attack him. We'll not aggress with all these guys, and then we'll just confederate them later. Yeah, sure. You can have a hundred. I don't care. I don't care. Hello, seasons of Athalorn. All magic beings of Athalorn, from the lowly dryads to the mighty forest dragons, are attuned to the four seasons of the forest. They are active and powerful in spring and summer, but dormant and weak in winter. Even Orion, the king of the woods, and the avatar of the elven god Kurnos is no exception. He will end his current incarnation, the flames of the midwinter pyre, only to be reborn again next spring. Cool. 
Affect all sp four spirit units, blah, 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 blah. The beginning of winter, Orion will suffer a wound. Okay, so right now we are at Spring and Athelorn for two more turns. Construction cost minus 25, nice. Vigor loss, casualty replenishment rate, no upkeep for Orion. Neat. Can we upgrade this yet? All right, 15k, I forgot about that nonsense. All right, wait one more turn and I think we're gonna jump. It's going to go from spring... Wait, wait, it's going to go to, from spring to summer. So we might become more powerful as soon as summer springs into action. Then we jump and attack. Then we, we will probably have a full army by then. It's taken a real long time to get our full army. You guys want an aggression pack? That's not going to happen. I just want the dwarves to go and uh, attack that. Stability. Public order off. Pro we only have the one province anyway. Uh, you. Spring for one more turn. Alright. Well, let's finish off this army. More branch rates, please. And go for some regular Glade Guard. Uh, I think we have enough archers. Let's get some more Dryads. Get, say, two more Dryads. And one more Hagbane. Works for me. And then we attack. Hot damn. <laughs> well, this is the least action I've ever had in a uh, in a thing. And plus, with no starting enemy army right nearby, maybe I was supposed to take Karak Norn, Norn immediately? I don't know. Maybe Durthu could have probably done it alone, but that sometimes feels like cheating to me. Like... The Great Council. The Lords and Ladies of Athelorn gather every so often to discuss, and they give us some money. Sweet. Uh, you. Oh, you leveled up. Cute. Cute. I uh, guess. Call of the Woods. Affects allies in range. Melee attack. That was nice. That was nice. It doesn't seem to lock anything, so why not? I don't see why we wouldn't get this. Oh, you got two points. Well. As well. Uh, the other point we can put in... I mean, Replenish Troops is nice. But we need this stuff. Especially, we need Earthblood. Let's get that. And now we are Summer. Tax Rate, Global Recruitment, Midsummer Sacrifice, Tax Rate. Oh. I would have thought that it would have made the Force Spirit actually more powerful, but apparently not. Ah, oh, that's fine. One more turn and we jump. Time to get an actual battle going. My god, it took a long time to recruit an army. And we're probably going to lose units out of this army fairly fast, too. Kind of funny. Diplomatic relationship with Talzin if we raise or sack something belonging to Paravon. That's okay. Uh, we got a bunch of amber deposits in places. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You? Time to go. Go right here. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. No, they can't reach us. We're going to take room hold. <laughs> they could try to jump the Waterfall Palace with this army. That will be annoying. But then again, if they go here, we might be able to attack them. Uh, you are not going to waste cash on that. We should probably get something that would buff up our garrison a little bit. Income for post-battle loot for faction-wide. This gives a little bit of garrison... Forest Dragon Garrison. Huh, that's actually nice. This only gives us two Eternal Guard. And two Glade Guard Starfire Shafts. It is something. And it does buff up everybody that's being sieged. I feel like we should build it just in case. And then, will anything else make us more money? This will give us public order and a bunch of resources. This will give us income from grapevines, including all regions in adjacent provinces. And this will give us growth. We're not really trading, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, we could get one of these things. Oh, we get a spell singer of life. That's what we want in addition to a uh, branch rate, isn't it? Hmm. Recruitment cost reduction. Not a huge deal. Upkeep is nice, though. Recruitment cost reduction minus 40% for tree spirits units. That I like, Living Forest. That I like, but I'm not entirely sure that we should get that over... Which we probably should. You know what? Let's get that. It's... Get that, we're probably going to be recruiting a lot more of those guys. And we want the upkeep 
maxed out ASAP. Go for it. Go for it. I don't know if it's that advantageous, but... Go. Let's see if these guys try to attack us or not. I just want to fight. I just want Durthu to attack something. Ah, uh, come on, dwarves. Make it happen. Are you really just gonna sit in your hold? Cowardly dwarves. Cowardly damn dwarves. Diplomatic relations. The elves of the blah 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 come to you with a proposal. These subjects of Lord Edrael have ever been brash, always the first into battle and the last to apologize, yet their latest endeavors are somewhat more nefarious. They wish to subvert the Britannian dukedom of Quinell by planting shape-shifting forest spirits amongst the court as damsels. Such a sneaky scheme is sure to wreak havoc among the Bretonians, which may or may not be to our advantage. Sure. We don't care. Durthu takes what he wants. Okay, you go here. Yes, next turn, finally. Take that ASAP. Oh, that Beastman army's here. It seems to have been reduced, though, if it is in fact the same army. We're losing cash now, but we will be able to take Grimhold. If not Karak Norn. Man, maybe I should have just jumped Karak Norn. Right at the start. Too late now. Beastmen have declared war on Vidrioth, that's fine. Allow the Questing Knights 5k for 100 Waystones. Uh, I don't think we can lose 5k right now, it's not worth it to deny him. Hello, what do we have here? In the midst of summer, the Forest of Athalorn demands a sacrifice of blood and amber to nourish the spirits of the trees. In return, it offers gifts, choose wisely. Minus 3 amber, Virgo Spirits. Nice buff for tree spirits for 24 turns, 10 armor, that's pretty nice. Magic feathers, reload time and range, that's also fairly nice actually. Uh, amber, we could get the divination orb, research faction plus 15. That's not bad because it is forever. It is forever. Hmm. And cleansing the land, melee attack during force, okay, I don't really care about this one. Damn. I like the upkeep. But I also like the fact that this will allow us to uh, increase our research forever. You know what? Let's take this. Divination Orb. We will give it to you, Branch Wraith. Casting item. I assume that Durthu can't get it. No, he can't. He can't carry casting items. He's too angry. Too angry about everything. Okay, fine. You here and let's fight. <laughs> Finally. Damn isolationist elves. All right, let's go. Oh my god, what really? Huh. Wow, judging by how easy this is, I probably should have attacked Karakorn. All right, fine, let's fight it. Well, let's see how easy this is. If it is in fact easy, we'll just siege Karakorn and have them come out to face us in open battle. I just don't think we could take the walls. They have so many quarrelers and such. Alrighty, ooh, you guys can jump up ahead, but I think that might not be that helpful right now. Like, sure, you could join battle lines, but then our giant pile of... You know what? Why don't you guys like this? Group three. Group two. Get you guys going like so. Good enough. Guess we can do that. Ah, it's fine. It's out. Oh, damn it. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna straight up charge them. I mean, what, what's why wouldn't we? You go here. I have the tree kin amongst these guys. Party group two. Durthu's gonna be group one. I only want to take a look at you. Take a look at Durthu. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen you, buddy. Hey there. Holding that uh, claw hand thing out, huh? Lamentation of Despair. As opposed to a positive lamentation? Okay. Uh, you might want to also be up here. You know what? Attack from this side. You guys, attack from this side. There we go. Start battle. Oh, you guys are already in here. Alright, you guys move a little bit forward. You guys lock it up and get ready to attack. You guys get ready to charge him from the flanks or the back, whatever you can reach. And Durthu can cast... You can guess Flock of Doom. As soon as these guys get in range, which is now, we're gonna have the Branch Wraiths charge and Durthu. Forward, please. 
you guys get ready to smack right into him. Uh, we should probably kill the quarrelers first. What do we have here? A rune lord. Yeah, Duthu can handle a rune lord, I think. Now we do have probably a decent amount of missile resistance. Not 25 percent. It's something. It's not amazing. Not amazing. You guys get ready to go. You guys deck this ranger unit. Uh, you. Oh damn! I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. All right, you start casting here. I think that, you know what, just charge this for a second. Uh, you guys, I want you to go right here. And I want you guys to go right here. Because I feel like you're going to do a lot more damage to us than you're going to do to the enemy. You go forward, Branch. You can actually attack in melee. How are you guys doing? Alright, you guys have charged, and then I think you're going to uncharge and then charge again. Durthu, you need to kill their lord. Uh, go through all this. Go fight that guy. In fact, Lamentation of Despair, is this good against a single unit? Strong versus a single unit. Do it. And you guys, charge this again. That did nothing. Uh, you, Branch Wraith, come and help out here. You guys, I'll attack this, and then change targets. You guys are gonna stay alive-ish. You guys, I want you to attack from here. There we go. As long as these guys don't route, we'll be good. You guys, recharge again. You, you have another crow that you can pop. Right there. There we go. You keep killing this guy. Alright, these guys are now dead. Uh, you guys are now going to target this unit. You know what, you can chase this unit off the map. Uh, you are just about to route, actually, and I don't like that. You guys change targets to this unit. Durthu, keep attacking. You guys target this unit, chase it off the map. You guys target this unit. There we go, this unit should melt fairly quickly. The tree men are doing fairly well at holding the line. They just do no damage. Fine though. That's fine. Alright, you guys chase this unit. You, Durthu, how are you doing? Still doing the thing. Still doing the thing. Alright. Alright, you guys target this. Aha, we have this unit that's routed, but it can come back in. Branch Wraith is fine. You guys need to attack this. You are not killing these dwarves quick enough. And you do have Starfire Shafts here as well. These are dwarf warriors, though. They are shielded and such. Uh, you, keep attacking. We got another crow in a second or so. There we go. You guys charge this, I suppose. Alright, this unit is done. You guys help out with this. I think we're going to win on one flank and lose on the other flank. It's not as easy as the auto-resolve would have us believe. But that's okay. We have a lot of pretty expendable units. Minus... Where's the branch rate? Ah, branch rate is fine. Relatively fine. As long as it doesn't die, I'm happy. In the middle of all this. Uh, you guys. You know what? Surround and kill that rune lord. Maybe you can help Durthu. He's, uh... Taking a long time to kill anything. A really long time. You guys, chase this down. Since this is a settlement battle, we just have to get these guys dead. Or we just have to have them route, even though dwarves don't really like to route all that much. Uh, attack this, you guys back away. Okay, you guys attack this, you guys back away. Don't die, don't fight to your death. Just attack the regular way. There we go. The units that run out of ammo can chase stuff. Yeah, you. Look at this. You guys chase down this lord, don't let him come back into the fray. Uh, you guys. Okay, looks like we got a chain route going. Or at least near. Durthu. Freak them all out. Freak them all out. I want to see him am amidst or amongst the stunties. Attack. Make them fly. Nice. Made a few stunties fly. Stunty bowl. Almost as fun as Skaven bowl. Maybe even more fun than Skaven bowl. Hard to say. Alright, these guys are getting pelted by annoying arrows from every direction, which is fun enough. Uh, you guys chase the stunties down. You guys chase that unit down. Everybody chase something down. There we go. Easy enough. Easy enough. I do think that I will readjust the way that I position the uh, the range units so that we can get into flanking attacks immediately against the dwarves. Now, what we could have also done is we probably could have uh, backed away, i.e. just kited them for a while done a lot more damage like that, but I kind of just wanted to see the uh, how well the Dryads did in a straight-up fight with the uh, 
with the Dwarf Warriors, which is not so well. Not surprising, I'll grant, but still. Still. And wait, this was a settlement battle, so we don't actually need to chase anybody down. End the battle. End the battle. Let's see how much cash we get out of this. Uh, obviously, the range units did quite a bit better, but once again... We're not very good at fighting the dwarves specifically, at least not yet. We need more tree kin for that. Need more armor piercing tree kin. It's not what the poor dryads are made for. Now we could raise this. We could also. Ooh, cleansing. Raise and cleanse, so we get less money, but we get movement range. Hmm. It's not bad. Well, that is not bad. Or we could immediately seed this. What will that do? I mean, this feels like not enough cash. You know what? Just seed it. Seed it for now. It doesn't really matter if we lose it. Ooh, Arns of Pals Black Horror immediately? That's pretty useful. Druthu got a hunting hound. That's ironic. That is ironic. I bet, uh, I bet Orion's pissed about that one. Uh, I have Kurnos. Affects allies in range. That's not gonna help. Uh, let's go for Ever-Reaching Tendrils. We could go Call of the Woods just because we don't expect the, uh, the Dryad to actually be near us. And damn, Durthu, you have a lot of skills. You have a lot, a lot of skills. I take it that these blessings lock each other out. Such that you can't get them all. Hmm. Interesting. I like the armor for all units. Same with the casualty or replenishment, right? Ooh, wait, this also gives 20k hit points. On Durthu, that might be pretty damn disgusting. Although, yeah, let's see, we can get Endurance of the Oak for 15% as well. Put that together. Hmm. Ooh, Skin of the Woods. Definitely need that early. And some good stuff in here. Oh, Dark Spirit. Yes, please. Another head points thing. Just get Durthu to unkillable level. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go through Inspiring Presence and just buff up those Dryads ASAP. Ha 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 ha. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why would Striking Branches not buff anybody that actually uses branches? Uh, War Dancers and Wildwood Range. Same with that. Ancient Bark is what we will need eventually. Hmm. All right, good enough. Although, wait, wait, wait. This will actually buff Durthu in a fight. Do this instead. We'll go Inspiring Presence next turn. All right, you leveled up as well. You get two points this time. And Earthblood, beautiful. That's something we're going to be spamming a lot. You know what? Oh, this buffs up. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm pretty happy there. Grimhold, what do we have here? Can't build anything there. We build this, but it's not worth the cash. Uh, let's see. Income from all buildings, growth faction wide. That is definitely not worth it. This provides garrison. Wait, so we have two buildings that provide garrison? A bunch of buildings that provide garrison, actually. Spellsinger and Treekin. Hawk Rider and Waystalker. And that's it. I guess... Oh, this also provides garrison... Uh, upkeep for all units in the province. Not bad. Hmm. Public order, winds of magic power reserve. Is it to everyone or just in this region or province? Come on, game. You're being unclear. Damn, I don't know which one of these to build here. Honestly, both of these garrisons aren't going to be good, but uh, let's go with the Waystone first. It'll be something. It'll be something. What the hell are Sisters of the Thor? These are Glade Riders. I don't remember what those are. We'll find out. We will find out. We should probably keep upgrading this just in case that this place gets attacked since we can't afford to lose it. Uh, public order is going down because of taxes, but that's fine. Alrighty, well, with Grimhold hours, let's end that turn and then start slowly making our way towards Carrick Norn. 
We will probably want to take Karakazor as well. Get all these surrounding Dwarven territories to become ours, plus the Orky territories. I don't really want to deal with Bretonia. Mostly because I feel like every campaign with the Wood Elves has you deal with Bretonia a lot. And, uh, I mean, the good thing about dealing with Bretonia is I believe you have one of these uh, things that massively... It used to massively increase port income. Income from income from rating plus 150? Okay, I like that. Aha, in Mathland, Lord of the Deeps, income from ports 100%. So we get a bunch of those Bretonian port cities, and then suddenly we own a lot. Yeah, maybe I should have attacked Paravon immediately. I don't know, it just didn't feel right. I feel like I want a reason for doing so. You. 50%, alright, start slowly, slowly inching towards Karak Norn. Right there. Regen to full. You're not gonna be able to take it. Unless we're in open battle. Then we might try. Hopefully the orcs attack it again, and then we can kill the orcs as well. Hey, 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 you get out of here, Wiesenland. Why are you walking here? Are you, are you going to do something to us with your damn agent? Rayherds come, Grateful Paragons, Hero Action for All, blah blah blah. Now, I could probably get some better relationships with some of the factions going, but the thing is, I feel like it's not right with Durthu. Durthu wants to kill everything. He's an angry tree man. This whole thing. Alright, you're good. We're gonna keep off of this because I... Although, the Swift Silver Shards might be useful. Hmm. Plus, we got a Waystalker out of this. We can use him to assassinate, I believe. Yeah. Any damage walls? You can assault units and garrison. He can't damage walls, but it's 4k. Can't afford that right now. Can't really afford this, either. You know what? Untax this. There we go. Durthu, keep going. Hello, Carl Franz. What are you doing here? Are you gonna come and attack our main settlement? Huh. Are all of these factions going to attack us? I would actually really love that. I feel like that would be real fun. Oh, free Waystalker. Beautiful. What you doing there, Carl? Wow, your army is weak and pathetic. Mine is the, uh... The foot guard, I guess. Blade of Loic. Enemy wins a magic power reserve. Melee attack plus 10. Neat, I suppose. I don't know how powerful you are. We're gonna find out. The question is, do we use you as a hero that is in an army, or do we use you as a hero that's in a... Uh, that's an assassin? I feel like since you have this Blade of Loic thing, you should probably be an actual fighting hero. Hmm. Although you probably don't really help the, uh... Don't really help the forest spirits all that much. A lot of your buffs are... For range. Reload time, range, stuff like that. Although, Durthu does have some of those guys. Ah, oh, but you can't get up here now. You need to jump with Durthu. You know what? Go near Carl Franz. Uh, I'm pretty sure he can't take that anymore. That's fine. You... Keep moving. One more time, right here. In fact, go right here. 50, 50, 50. 50, damn. All our ammo chance is 50, fine. Go right here. Into a camp stance, heal to full, then go into ambush, and we'll see what these dwarves do. Or those orcs do. Their army is full now. Maybe they'll attack. Settlement upgrade available. Grimhold. And go for it. Go for it, why not? And you're happy now. Beautiful. Keep going. We are still losing cash, so we need to destroy Karak Norn. Or kill Karl Franz, and... Nope, he ran away. Coward. Coward. Get to... Get inside Athel Lauren. Come here and die. At least this is moving by fast. Man, if, if the end turns were taking as long as before, damn. All units own armies faction-wide attack. Yes. 
You're fine as you are. You. You are now going to go into ambush stance. Wait, can you reach the settlement? Yes, you can. I think we'll try one turn of ambush. Wait. We're autumn. Campaign range for all armies. Yeah, we'll wait one turn in ambush. Although, if we do... Is there more ambush here? No. I was hoping that there's an increased ambush chance in these tiny little tree areas, but it looks like it's all 50 where we can actually move. Unfortunate. Do it anyway, though. Oh, here. Ambush. Hero not moved. Well, that's fine. You just you just stay around here, buddy. And that turn. Let's see. Come on, dwarves. Come out of there. We just took your city, and it's undefended, apparently. Are you gonna sit in here? Or are you gonna do something about it? Dwarves. Ambush foil. Damn, they saw us. <laughs> okay, screw it. Screw it, let's attack. Magic resistance. That's terrible. Deny the request. Uh, I should probably read some of those, but I feel like they're just the standard. Bog standard stuff. You. How long would it take to get this thing to surrender, I wonder? They do have a catapult here. Oh, damn, they have three long beards. You know what? I don't think we can win that in the assault. What if we raid? I'm 95. Get some cash out of this. While we build up Grimhold. Does that really help us at all, though? Hmm. Kind of stuck as to what to do. We could jump out of here and start assaulting Wiesenland and stuff, but then they're just going to attack this stuff. You know what? Just raid this. Keep raiding. See what the orcs do. See if they come for the dwarves. I mean, these guys are just going to keep upgrading Karak Norn, which is kind of the problem right now. Hey, Kem. What you doing? You come to die? His army is too weak by itself to take the Waterfall Palace, so I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Hmm. Keep ambushing, I guess? I mean, we could try to ambush again. Maybe this guy will actually move, but I feel like he's going to sit here for as long as these, uh, for as long as Scarsnick is here. That's kind of the problem. Let's try one more time. Try ambush. Although we're losing a lot of cash. You can't do anything. Eh, it's fine. Try one more time. Although... What if we move down here? We could take Karak Bufdar pretty easily, I bet. Probably take some of these territories. You know what? If this doesn't work out, let's, uh, let's take those territories. Come on, Karak Nor. Go over here. Stop sitting. Oh, Skarsnik is coming. Yes, stay in ambush. Right after they fight, that's when we attack. Ambush foiled. Oh, oh god damn it. Now Skarsnik is going to attack that place? Okay, okay. No, no, no. This is good. This is good. We, we can kill this guy. Finally. Hawk companion. Sure. Amber 2. Sure. Let us do this thing. First, you. You get yourself a buff. Earthblood maxed out, please. Could get Awakening in the Wood, but it doesn't really do anything to Dwarves, they have too much armor. Uh, let us go. She's... Uh, Birch, Oak, Willow. Neat. Uh, okay, I'll read those more properly when we can actually afford them. They're at level 15 after all. Enable ability to Dryad's units in character army. Oh. Oh, that'll be useful. Lose, lose armor for attack. Lose speed for physical resistance and- oh yeah, of course, Oak. That seems obvious. Why would we want to lose 25 armor? Although you do get bleed with Birch. This just gives us bonus versus large and some- okay, these- Willow's not worth it. Oak or Birch? I gotta think about that one. Regardless, time for an actual fight. Ah, don't get out of the army. I didn't give you your other point. Guess we could go Foe Seeker, but it doesn't really give us much. Neither does the Withering. Penumbral Pendulum. Hmm. 20 is probably not worth it. Probably better to just heal. 
But we'll probably have to get this eventually. You know what? Go Foe Seeker for now. We'll want to go through that tree anyway. Well, let's take out this army. Oh, you're gonna run now, aren't you, dwarves? Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, you fools. You fools. You're gonna die now. Fight battle. Beautiful. See, patience pays off, Durthu. You don't have to rage attack everything you see. I mean, you do, but you have to wait before you do it. Amazing. Okay, so, you guys are going to immediately charge this old thing. From, let's say, here. You get, in fact, you guys are going to go here and uh, stalk your way to attacking this while you attack it here. We're going to try to engage this dwarven line basically immediately. And yes, these guys are going to get hurt, but then that'll keep these dwarves from uh, getting a proper line coordinated. While we attack from this side with you guys. Yes, that's what we're going to do. You guys are going to work together to kill their lord. You guys are going to hold the line while you guys are going to flank and kill. I think that is the best option here. So start deployment. And lock you guys down. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, these guys aren't even moving. You know what? Just stand here. If they don't want to attack, we'll just line up right in front of them. While Durthu comes here. Ah, here they come. Okay, now attack, now attack. Don't let them form up. Just keep them in these awkward, awkward formations. Go here. Durthu, where's their lord? Find him and kill him. You guys kill this. You guys charge this. You guys... Oh, god damn it! I forgot to move you. I got too busy. That's fine, though. That's fine. You guys all get ready to focus down there. How many range units do they have? Not a lot. You guys just need to stay alive for a few seconds. You know what? You actually charge that. And you pop a crow right there. Yes, and then go find and kill their lord. And then you know what? Arnzapal's Black Horror... We can pop it right there. That'll probably hurt our units a little bit. What can you do? All right, there, catapult us down. And then you guys, target and kill their range. Very, very good. You guys get away. Nice. Nice, you guys help out. And find the Lord and kill him. There we go. Find and kill Lord. Right here. If I if only I could target him, that'll be that would be lovely game. There we go. There we go. You guys just hold the line. Doesn't matter if all of you die, as long as we kill this army. Uh you guys. No, you're fine. You're fine. You guys kill this unit, please. Kill this unit, please. You. Get one charge into these miners and back up. Because this unit's gonna explode in a second or two. Get that nice charge in there. Dwarf bowling. Yes, please. Alright, now back up. This unit is out, so now we are going to switch you guys to getting those Dwarf Warriors. You, chase this unit off the map now. Is the Lord dead? He's getting there. You guys, we need to back off soon. Like so. Uh, yeah, you guys just hold the line. Hold the line. You know what? Back up a little bit. Maybe consolidate. While we kill the Lord here. Kill that lord. Kill that lord. There we go. You guys, keep doing what you're doing. You guys, keep doing what you're doing. Kill those miners. Take out that quarreler unit. Don't let it come back. And then let's get some of you guys moving forward to attack these quarrelers. Good job, wild riders. Get all these units from coming back. And you guys switch targets, please. You guys charge that. Is that their lord? Yes, indeed it is. You guys chase him down and kill him, please. You guys can now fight you. You know what? Charge all this nonsense. You could fight all those dwarves alone. You guys just hold the line. Just hold the line. We'll be f you'll be fine. Don't let any of these units come back. You guys target this unit. These guys will probably wrap soonish. 
As long as the Wild Riders keep doing their job. Let's send a few units to attack this unit. Durthu is going to be just fine over here. They're dwar oh, damn it. You guys stopped chasing him. I should have turned off guard mode. That was my bad. Uh, you guys chase him down. Durthu, curl this nonsense. Like so. You know what? Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You guys, I'll target this. You guys, I'll target this. You guys, uh, chase this down. Don't let these guys come back. These guys are just about dead. You guys need to keep these units from doing anything. Durthu's having a real grand old time over here. Uh, how are we doing here? I told you guys to attack this unit. And I told you guys to attack this unit. There we go. You know what? You guys, I'll switch targets. Go here. Uh, you guys, just back away. You don't need to die. There we go. That's fine. Durthu is unhurt. Completely unfazed by the Dwarven Warriors. They don't actually do that much damage to him, do they? Uh, you guys are okay. You guys chase this. How's that Lord looking? Alright, well, their units are just about dead. You, keep attacking this. Uh, you guys switch targets to this. Oh, it uh, looks like we got a chain round going. Let's see. You guys attack their Lord. You guys switch targets to this. You guys switch targets to this. You. Uh, yeah, chase down as many units as we can now. I don't know whether their army can move again, but just in case it can. And once again, I forgot to use the uh, the Lamentation of Despair. Here are the Lamentations of the Dwarves. Alright, this is now fine. Uh, you guys... Kill that lord, please. Alright, Wild Riders. You guys are good over here. Try to chase down those Quirlers. Speed it up to max. There we go, enemy lord is wounded or dead. I guess if we fight again, this shouldn't be a problem. You know what I should have done? I should have used more earth blood, but I wanted to do more damage rather than more uh, survivability because we were killing their lord and uh, flanking them pretty well. If we had one more unit of wild riders to capture all these units that run off the field, that'd be swell. They don't do very well in a charge. I mean, they lost... What, 25% of their HP and 4 units in a charge against miners. Miners of all units. That's pretty pathetic. It says Pyrrhic victory, but we didn't really lose all that much. Good job cleaning up. Everything lost is pretty easily replenishable here. There we go. Uh, kill captives for five turns versus release cap. No, nah, just kill them all. I mean, it's a nice amount of cash, but is this guy dead? That's a real question. Yes, he is. Beautiful. War dancer, drummer, public order, and melee attack for war dancers. Well, if only we had some of those. Uh, you can't get into anything. Just go here. You can't get into ambush, so that's fine. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Head to Carrick Norn. They're going to siege it. They're probably going to take it, but we can kill... I'm pretty sure Durthu can kill an infinite number of regular goblins, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, let's just end the turn, then. I'm assigned skill points, though. Did Durthu level up after beating the hell out of that lord? Yeah, I think he did. Uh, we could go for Howl of the Force to buff him up a little bit more. I feel like we'll never get any use of Eye of Kurnos, because he's always going to be in the middle of battle. As that is his nature. I would like to buff up Flock of Doom, because I am going to be spamming it. Although, we should probably get all of this stuff. I mean, we do... Ooh, Tempered Rigor 12-12. Okay, you know what? That's one of that's one of the best ones. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that. 30% weapon strength is pretty nasty as well. Damn. Yeah, we're going to buff Durthu up first, I think, then. I get these blessings as well. Oh, are these things available? Oh, it's minus one waste down. Okay, so we need the special uh, resource. That's fine. Next, please. I just want Carrick Norn. I want this thing gone. All right, Gabos. Get to attacking. Or die. Doesn't really matter what happens. We'll profit either way, I think. You. Go right here. And encamp. Keep on waiting. I'm not ending this episode until whatever this... Whatever the outcome of this actually happens. 
Hawk Riders and a Waystalker. Hmm. I mean, we already have this Waystone here. I feel like we should just make cash somehow. Uh, this is not gonna make much cash. This could give us Amber, this could give us Growth. It doesn't really do anything good. Upkeep is helpful. Huh, what is the point of having these? Now that I think about it. They really don't give a lot of money. None of this gives a lot of money. I mean, plus 10 income. This gives 150 income, but it needs to be level 3. Okay, so we'll wait to get this. Two dryads and a treekin. Okay. We'll get that then. We won't get this, because it's not worth it and it kind of hurts us. Uh, this would help us eventually, but we don't need it right now. I guess we'll just get the advanced patrols, and then we'll get this. Works for me. Works for me, and hero not moved. Yeah, you can't go up here, man. Sorry, buddy. I guess you could start trying to do stuff to Paravon, because we are probably going to declare war on them eventually. Either they do it to us or we do it to them, right? Alright, come on. Karak Norn. I really wish we didn't have to waste 10 turns just to recruit an army, though. Meanwhile, all the factions are fighting amongst themselves. The Skull Smashers got destroyed. That's a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, melee defense, nice. Don't care about that. Uh, you. Ball, ambush chance, 25%. That is decent. I don't really care about fighting the Beastmen right now, since we're not fighting them. Relations with Bretonia, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. Durthu, not so much. Hmm. All these buffs to the relations is nice. Let's go with Drakira, Queen of Vengeance. Hmm. Alright. Keep Siege and Gobos. Their other army is here, right? Where's where's their bigger army? Do they only have this tiny little army? Please don't tell me you're... Please don't tell me they ran away with their main army. I hope this is just some kind of visual issue. I could have sworn there were two here. Don't do it, game. I assume it didn't die. I just want the Karak Norn buffer against everything. Gobos, are you gonna do anything? Vidriov, what do you want? Great agreement. Yes. I honestly didn't think you guys were gonna be happy with trading that early. Chaos Influence, Casual to Replenishment Mine, no. No, we can't have this right now. Our, our public order is already kind of issued. And Casual to Replenishment Rate, yeah, that really hurts. Send the Spell Singers. You're still CG. I just want to see what happens here. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, let's try to trade with all of you guys in the meantime. Trade agreement. Fine. Rude, but fine. Ah, we'll just wait. He'll probably offer trade to us himself eventually. You. You are no longer replenishing because of local effects. What local effects? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's winter. It's winter. Damn. That's annoying. You're going to raid. That also does nothing. You might gain XP. Oh, they do have that other army. Oh, it's not nearby anymore. What the hell are you doing, Gobbos? Well, it's a problem that we can't regen, but I'm pretty sure Durthu can still handle all the Gobbos in those armies. Alright, they've taken it. Time to attack. Oh, let's go. And then we'll take Karak Asgaraz immediately after that. Hopefully they don't heal to full, but even if they do, I'm willing to fight this. We're willing to fight it right now. It is the first episode after all. Assyrian income from all buildings. Kane melee attack. Yes. Always Kane. Trees, elves, always came. And you, who's outside? You're you're both outside? Ready. 
I guess we'll attack Scars next straight up. Oh, let's go. Flare War. Don't care. Flare War. Attack. You are not going to move away, and that's going to bend very badly for you. Let's do this thing. Finally a big old battle. Alrighty, so uh, this time I will be watching uh, this actually happen. Uh, just trying to get some of those cinematic shots, setting up so that since it's a big battle, I can actually take a nice uh, look. Usually I don't do this because it takes too much time to edit and stuff like that, but for special battles or for battles that are just plain fun to watch, I am obviously willing. Now, if you guys can probably see if Scar Snake's forces aren't being attacked by our massive amount of range, that is because we can't actually see them right now. Uh, I believe Scar Snake does something that uh, makes his gobos disappear, so they only become visible when they get something like this close to us. They all have stalk or something like that. So that's what's happening here. I would like to see the battle lines get joined. They will get found out soon. You know what? Let's disable that. There we go. There we go, here come the Gobos. And the battle lines are about to be joined. There you go, Gobos. And here come the Starfire Shafts, and here come the Dryads jumping on Gobo after Gobo. And not a good way. Um, in the meantime, over on this side, we have Durthu coming into the bunch of tree kin. Now they are going over here, I did decide to send them straight towards Scarsnick over there, and I uh, did get a Flock of Doom cast over here. These guys are going to wrap pretty fast. In the meantime, however, the Away Watchers did get netted down, so I sent Durthu to run after all these guys. They didn't kill our precious Away Watcher unit, since we only have the one, and Durthu's going to just go to town. He is going to absolutely annihilate this giant pile of gobos, and uh, the tree can are going to help out a little bit. I mean... He's having a grand old time, you can tell. If he wasn't so angry, there would be a massive smile on his face. There we go, Durthu. That's a good time, buddy. That is a good time. Now, in the meantime, we do have this Wild Rider unit that is, uh, it's basically been running around in the back lines, just charging unit after unit, making him charge off the map, not really a problem for us. In the meantime, these guys have set up so that we're not getting too much arrows into the backs of our own units anymore. Just uh, these gobos being surrounded by branch rates and having arrow after arrow pelt them. It does seem like a lot of arrows are sticking our own units as well, so we do know that our branch rates are, or our dryads rather, I keep confusing those two, they're poisoned. And Durthu, he's still fighting the good fight. I believe he's gonna cast some stuff soon here. Well, let's check that out. I believe it's about time for him to cast the Flock of Doom and a little surprise for the rest of this pile of gobos. Uh, here comes an attack. There's the Flock of Doom. And more importantly, the Lamentation of Despair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Yeah, the poor gobos have- oh my god, that one gobo went flying. Is he gonna get back up? He's gonna get back up. Wow, gobo. You're impressive. You're an impressive little fella while all your, uh, while all your cohorts melt. So yeah, as I was saying, I wanted to set up our uh, battle lines over here instead of over here because they do have a massive number of reinforcements coming off from this side of the map. Now the bad thing was that if we had, uh, Oh, I just missed it. Skarsnik was being pelted by a bunch of arrows here, but uh, he just died with no problem. He was routing anyway. Yeah, these units would have just run off the field now. What the hell would have been the point? And this is not a settlement battle. So we have to kill as many of them as we can. These guys are getting absolutely obliterated by Arnzapal's Black Horror. This thing's moving through the line. Just disgusting red line of dead gobos here after that. And the Dryads look like they're lost after this. They don't know what to do. And then, of course, this war boss decided to charge Durthu and a bunch of Treek, and that did not go well for him. He routed very, very quickly as well. We still have the Glade Riders charging around on the back lines, or Wild Riders, rather. Keep getting those confused. And this is just about over. Of course, it's just a Gobbo army, so not really ever going to be a problem. In the meantime, we could probably get a uh, life bloom going on these guys right there. Good. 
keep everybody healed up just so that they don't die to friendly fire. And yeah, now this battle's about over. We're just going to chase everything that we can, get as many kills as we can before the end of this. Obviously, Durthu and the, uh, the Durthu and the Branch Wraith and the Treekin are probably all too slow. Same with the Dryads to actually catch this. Maybe not the Treekin, I'm not sure. But uh, these guys are all too slow, so we're just going to use the Glade Riders and these range units to chase down everything we can. Obviously, just a bunch of dead Cabos. Oh, these guys can actually catch up to Gabos? Ah, oh, good job, Weight Watchers. But, yeah, missed. I don't know why you're running here. Oh, right, I was trying to get around these guys to actually stop them from running away. These guys are also chasing these. Hey, don't stop. Don't stop believing. Keep running, there you go. There you go. And we're just about done here. Just about done. Just watching a few more gobos die to a few unnecessary volleys. Through the tall grass, of course. One more volley, please. One more volley. Come on now. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I take great pleasure in watching these gobos die. Poor little guys. <laughs> they don't have good lives. Probably better than Skaven Slaves, but not by much. Not by much. Anyway, let's speed this up until this ends, and we're just about done here. There we go. Alrighty, I think that went pretty well. After all, it was a goblin spam army. That was never going to be much of a problem for Durthu. Once again, 813 kills on him alone. I don't think the entirety of the army could have killed him by himself. That would have been something to see. I'm almost sad I didn't just send Durthu in just to see how long he could last against the Horde. But that was pretty good for us. I believe we killed captives last time, so we could release them this time for the cash. Uh, but you know what? I'm tempted to stack this more. Let's see if the stack's beyond 5 or 10 turns. Well, let's find out in a sec. Okay, you're going to back up. Defeated Skarsnick at damn, Dirth was going to have an insane amount of ambush chance. And let's see, you. It does not stack above five. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Let's see. You can now attack this fella, Nubzub. I love the name Nubzub. I gotta admit. Nubzub's an awesome name. Alright, uh, you. We could go for an inspiring pre Now, you know what? Tempered Vigor. Now, Dirth is even more powerful. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, I forego buffing the entire army just to make Durthu obnoxiously powerful. And I feel like that's the right thing to do. Uh, you. You know what? Let's buff you up so that you can melee as well. I get kind of worried about sending you in melee. Let's uh, attack Karak Nord. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. We can just auto-resolve this. I feel like this unit will die. But oh well. Nope. Nope. No deaths. Alright. Let's take that. And we will see this as well. Not a lot of cash out of it, but... Ooh, we get Fear of Aramar, Leadership, and Vigor. Yes. That is not bad, actually. Uh, we can't give it to any one of you, but if we put that Waystalker in this guy's army, we can make use of it. Anyway, this is finally where I'm going to call it the... Is that the end of Karak Nord? Are they dead? Faction destroyed. Yes, that is a good milestone for this episode, I believe. Ending it here. With Karak Norn dead, we are now going to go straight for these guys and take Karak Angazar for ourselves, and this entire area will be ours. Hope we can buff it up a little bit before the Realms of Men ev inevitably declare war on us, and I think it is very right for Durthu to go after them. Um, even though I would usually go after the Bretonians, I just don't feel like doing the same campaign every time, as I've already said. But next time, there's a lot more battles to fight, a lot more Exterminatus to lay down by our favorite Angry Tree Man. That's a nice buff. Yes, yeah, so let's buff that. Damn. So much good stuff to get. And Violent Delights, I feel like we should get this. Uh... Although, we should also buff up stop, or, uh, Flock of Doom, rather. Stock of Doom. Dur Durthu has plenty of uh, 
doom and stuck. Oh, damn. No walls. Enemy siege holdout time, minus two. Attrition suffered by defender, plus 20 when laying siege. That's swell. I feel like we should get this as well, just in case we find another walled settlement soon. All right. All right. As I said, we are more than out of time, and I'm going to... Uh, we're going to continue as soon as I possibly can, because this has been a pretty fun opener. And pretty different from other campaigns, especially with this isolationism that's relatively ongoing. Minus this. And yeah, I don't know how long we're going to be before we get another lord going, or any tree men or anything like that, because our money is really, really in a problematic state. I feel like until we get... I mean, even if we were to get this buffed up and all the money-making buildings here, that's not much. We need these guys to actually uh, confederate with us to give them... to get the cash from these areas. But anyway, that's a problem for next time. So with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and or a comment to support the channel. It really, really does help. As always, all glory to the algorithm, and thanks for watching.